Hello world and welcome to my world. Let me read in here. Um, so let me promote a little bit Hubs. Hi everyone, today I'm using Hubs, an exciting new platform that makes it super easy for me to simultaneously broadcast to all of my social channels and see all of your comments in one place. Uh, so if you are enjoying my broadcast, I encourage you to download the Hubs app today and subscribe for more content. So, uh, get notified. okay, excellent. Um, I think I've gone through, yeah, I also uh, clicked for the better audio, even though it's not going to be primarily audio. I might bring out the piano again um, in here as well, because I'm at the balcony right now. Mm -hmm. Finally, um, the rain, the monsoon, <laughs> this kind of newly made monsoon because of the climate changes, I believe, has been released a little bit less. And I have a very unconventional situation with my, with this thing. So, uh, today I want to do a painting dedicated to the variation number 21. This is, by the way, the last of the canvases I have for this, uh, for this uh, selection, for this series, which is comprised of 30 pieces. And so this one is about the emotions, the peace, the divine, deep sadness, nothingness, omnipresence. And that's what I'm going to be trying to capture uh, on in here. And then I will have nine more to work on. We'll have the bit of, uh, I don't know how much can you see of the sea behind. And also, before I start that, because yesterday, I believe it was so, I recorded it on the other phone. Hold on a second. Yeah, now it's going to be a lot of notifications because I haven't turned on the phone. Um, where is it? Oh, God, I'm getting a lot of messages. Here's my thing. Mm -hmm. Where is it? I think from the record, I'm just going to Heavenly Dew. Great. Thanks for joining from Dallas. Thanks so much for, for joining me here. First in actually, or at least in terms of the interaction, the comments, making this togetherness. So let's hear a little bit this variation that this piece is dedicated to. somewhere that you can actually hear it's too risky to put it on Yeah, the view finally, finally <laughs> some sun because it's days, days with rain, days with rain. It was never before, I think, although I don't spend that much time here. So I'm having a vision for a lot of blue this time. Oh, and already I've painted big time. My fingers, especially if I do the piano after this one. I don't know if you can hear the music in the background though.
it now. So I start on the piece. I have to actually hold this literally. a little bit more circular this time this one I feel like it has to be that way well I have to be folding this the entire time I still prefer when I'm actually working from the <laughs> from the lower, from the floor. Maybe I'll get this on the floor later on. No, it's just, that's not the response to the, to the fire going. It's a lot of the time about the fire. Oops. I don't think you've ever seen <laughs> the, easel with this kind of a solution. And the reason why I have it this way is because it's a little bit, um, it's not so convenient in case this is about to be exhibited, which probably is going to be. So it's not very convenient for transport. Uh, like this, I just roll it, unroll, hundred times easier for transport and it's even more flexible for for sharing box it's not so good for working on it <laughs> cecilia welcome jacksonville beach wow wonderful now from one place facing the sea the uniting energy to another although there is fair amount of mountains around here <laughs> so yes in here I want to express this kind of a depthness and the circularity of the world. That's why this one will have a little bit more kind of circular structure. It's almost like a halo around it. That's what I'm doing in here. Because it's a very peaceful variation, so each variation is reflecting the energy of Actually, it's a bee, which is a good sign because a lot of bees were destroyed. And the faction painting, but it's not coincidence. Nothing is coincidental when it comes to art. It has to make sense. Let's just see what kind of a structure I'll do. Um, yeah, I'm getting a bit of the, this kind of, um, definitely need more green. And I'm a little bit inspired by Catherine Gross. Thanks for, Elizabeth, thanks so much for subscribing. So everyone, please go ahead and connect if you find this of inspiration, wants to um, have a tune in into the crazy world of, um, of the imaginatorium <laughs> here and surrounding. I think I'm going to be more intensely document everything that's going on around and within. I'm really free flowing with this as well. I'm following the general. I almost feel like this is on the floor. I've been used to painting on the floor for such a long time that now this verticality is freaking me out. Because I think it has to have this kind of edge. Okay. More 
So this is like a conversation, like interaction between all sorts of tenants in the head. And then I think that in here has to be much more structural sense. Almost like the birds flying. Yeah, more orange. More orange. Although this is not really the orange, it's the shade between the red and the orange. Then I'm kind of mixing it a little bit. And then with a little bit of darkness as well here. Running out of paints is fast. Okay, so this is my lighting. Excellent. Very, very musical. Uh, have to be very, very careful with the lilacness in here, not to overdo it. Make the balance proper. See, again, this is like a massive, this ideology, this that it's always showing up like a vertical eye. I don't know why am I always painting the same pattern over and over again. Even when I change the style, which happens, which happens when I do. Yeah, I need more yellow. So, I'm yellow for this one. Okay. This one is not quite. Okay, perfect. So now, let's see where we are. Challenging situation. Can you, by the way, see? Ah, oh, it's actually a little bit at the edge. You can't really fully see what's going on. Now you can kind of halfway through <laughs> to see what's going on. Because, well, anyway, as I'm working more at the edge, yeah. I want to show this kind of a passion, the violence, the, but in a good sense, you know, the, the right balance between one side and the other side. Oops, oh my god, I just made a massive mistake. A massive mistake. I just destroyed it on the side. Um, yeah, let's balance it now. Because when it comes to, I like, um, just have to work with the mistakes. It's the same like in life. While some things are correctable, others just have to work through it. You can't delete it. So I end with the action. Maybe that's how it works, unfortunately.
Perfect. Some more sun. Leslie, hello. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, okay. It's kind of halfway that you can see what I'm doing here. I don't know what's, what's worse when I'm working on it on the floor. And when I'm working on it like this, if it does have this circularity, which I thought... rebellious at the same time. Getting very warm, <laughs> so it might be the case that I'll have to somehow shield the phone if it starts heating up. In which case, we'll have to be stopping this. Maybe I just have to get the sun parasol working. Oh, it's kind of um, circularity is just now showing up in a proper way. I think I stopped in the, I didn't do the painting for a few days and it already feels like a little bit foreign, <laughs> the way of the habit. So I'm just touching some vitality. Wow, it's so warm. I wonder, should I do a walk? Maybe I'll do a walk later on. If you with me? Then I'll work from the floor. <laughs> can can it be visible? Wow, it's so bright that I don't know how much can you see. Uh, wow, it's really so bright. Yeah, actually, you can see. It's a good side, so I can move this one over here and then figure out the sun. The sun is too bright. <laughs> uh, 
Um, how can I shield this from the... Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. You are a little bit. I think this is now good. It's in the shade. But you can still see. Actually, I have to check with the other phone. I have to check how is the situation. How is the visibility? So it says that it didn't go live on Periscope this time, I think. Yeah, I don't see it, so it did go live, I think, on YouTube. Broadcasts. What's going on? Ah, it's very warm. Just doesn't want to show whether it's live or not. On a second. Yeah, for some reason there was a mistake, so it didn't multi stream. This one. Uh, let's see where we are in terms of the heads up. How is the situation here? Because I think it did multi stream on YouTube. So I'm very surprised. There's a bit of a delay, and now it's black. <laughs> Maybe it's a mistake. Wow, what kind of uh, the brightness is strange. Okay, let's see if I can if you can see the. Okay, so you can actually see that's that's all I wanted to know. There is a significant delay.
Okay, good. So, the weird light situation, but I think we can work on it. and white and we can play I definitely can only paint when it's when it's on the floor. I really feel now it's a floor.
That's the progress so far. I think that I'm going to be, um, that's it for now. Uh, it's supposed to be about the sadness and sor sorrow and all of this kind of stuff. But I feel like there was a lot of things that just happened in this particular one. So I'm going to finish the broadcast right now. Blinky Bill, great to see you. Thanks for joining. Apparently, this time it didn't go live on 
periscope for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Um, so, and I also have this strange parasol, which is creating a super unusual light for me. Hold on a second. Let's just close this off. Yes. So now, is this too bright? What's going on <laughs> with the situation? Um, and the balcony is it's always super challenging. Uh, but so basically, anyway, exactly down there. <laughs> Uh, exactly. So um, I think that's it for now. I'll take some photos, maybe take, fo take photos of the other one because I need to do some writing. Maybe I'll take a walk as well later on because it seems superb day. Look at that. Brightness unexpectedly for supposed to be raining. <laughs> so anyway, thanks so much everyone for joining. A glowing, glowing because of the brightness everywhere. It's the brightness. Look at the, the, look at the sea. It's special. I'd really love to take a walk there. Maybe that's what I'll do right now. And uh, just get some groceries on the way back. So thanks so much for joining, everyone. I'll see you next time. Thanks for, um, for the interaction, for sharing this as well, and um, for the patience. Sorry, there seems to be some kind of a bug, so I didn't multicast on Periscope, but I think it did on YouTube. So if uh, you want to... Um, to connect over there as well, because as we all know, Periscope is just about to expire sadly uh, but that's just how the things is and then hopefully Hapsil takes its, its rightful place not so much of Periscope but something new and with a different kind of vision more serious and wonderful so I'll see you next time thanks again